So how's it going, Todd? <laughs> doing real well. Real well. Doing well. So, if you could introduce yourself, what's your name, age, and what do you do for a living? Uh, my name is uh, Todd Dunkel. I am, uh, well, I will be 49 on August 6th. Um, I work for Greenlawn Companies as a supervisor. I would say somewhere around 2012, 2013, uh, one of my buddies, uh, Jason Daniels, uh, he told me that I needed to start working out again and, and uh, he said, told me about OSG and we started coming in about three days a week around six o'clock. Um, so that's how I got in the door. Um, it wasn't until about six months later, um, Corey's crew was coming in then at five and we were coming in at six. And uh, at one point he called Jason out and told him he needed to uh, get his ass to the 5 a.m. and that's when it started. First experience, um, not quite what I expected. Um, when you hear about going and working out or going to a gym, um, you you can't imagine that that the hardcore, the check your ego at the door type of mentality at this place. Um, nobody seems to think that they're better than anybody else. So it was it was a um, intense, but comfortable feeling and it's just a no frills get in work your ass off uh, shake a few hands and go home 2012 let's just say towards the end was when I first started at old school gym I didn't do my first meet which again um, never thought I would do a powerlifting meet uh, my first meet I think was in uh, February of 2014 and since that meet, I've increased um, at least 100 pounds on squat and deadlift and about 70 on my bench. Um, and again, that's through a few injuries here and there, but uh, you know, it's uh, um, walking in the door, I never thought that we were going to do any sort of type of uh, power lifting. I, you know, I just. Uh, my goal was always to try and get my chest bigger than my belly, so that's, <laughs> that's how it started. <laughs> changed the gym, how's the gym changed my life? Probably <clears throat> helped me to get more goal-oriented. It's, it's also, um, I, I, though I'm, I am probably the oldest guy in the 4 a.m. crew, I'm probably not the oldest guy in the gym, um, but in the 4 a.m. crew, it's probably helped uh, uh, motivation. These, these, you know, you're, you're lifting with guys from age, uh, clear down to probably 15, 16, all the way up to, you know, in their 40s. Um, you know, so it's, it's definitely helped um, keep my youth uh, keep my spirits, uh, there's a lot of camaraderie in, in working, you know, so it's, it's definitely just, it's just been a growing experience. Okay. What does it mean to be a part of the 4AM crew? Um, it's, it's exciting now, it's, uh, um, like I said, when I started I wasn't a part of that early crew, uh, I was more on my own. Now, um, I'm with a group of, of fellow lifters who um, basically the motto is check your ego at the door. We're all one unit. Um, nobody thinks that they're better than their, than the, than their partner. Um, the intensity that, that is here, um, some days you, you, you don't have it. Uh, but there's always somebody in the group that, that is going to keep motivating you. If you want to say a brotherhood, um, you know, it's, it's the group of guys that, uh, that I want to take to a street fight. Um, you know, no matter what happens, they're going to have your back um, and, and they, they just push you to get better. Um, I've seen guys graduate from high school, I've seen guys graduate from college. Uh, I've seen guys get married since I've been here, so um, you know it's you're 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 part of their life. 
um, and it's something that that motivates me to keep coming because of my growth and then watching watching these these men grow into uh, into thriving adults. Corey's, Corey's probably helped me most by uh, keeping me grounded, um, keeping me focused on on my goals. We talk quite frequently on just life. It's not always about weightlifting and and but <clears throat> but about life and about fatherhood and and because we're a little closer to age, you know, I, I understand what he's dealing with and, and and the way he's being pulled all different directions, but he still keeps that that family orient, orientation or him expressing the need to stay and, and be grounded is, is helping me also because um, um, you know, I, I enjoy the, my family. Um, he, he helps motivate me to continue to come into old school. Um, but, but I also know that, uh, you know, he's one of those guys that, that he, he tells you the truth. He tells you how it is. Uh, if he doesn't agree with you, he's going to tell you that. And if he, if, uh, you're doing it, you know, you're doing good, he's gonna motivate you to, to get better. Um, you know, I, I think that, um, you know, sometimes um, um, we forget that, um, you know, that he also, we need to strive to, to keep motivating him also because, you know, he walks around here pushing us and, and sometimes I think people forget that, um, you know, he's part of this crew as far as we need to continue pushing him and supporting him and thanking him as much as he does us.